Hey guys, my name is Saddam Qasim and once again I am back with one of my new lecture where I'm gonna show you how we can integrate the Facebook login into your WooCommerce based WordPress website. So anyone can simply click on the Facebook login button and they can log in into your WooCommerce website with the help of Facebook account. So let's get started. To integrate the social login into your WooCommerce website, we need to use a plugin. So you need to simply go to wpscratch.com and you can get this social login plugin at a very huge discounted price. Here you need to type WooCommerce social login. Here we go. So we can see the first plugin is WooCommerce social login. Let's click on it. So this plugin is at a huge discounted price. If you can check the original price of this plugin on the WooCommerce website, it costs around $79 every year. But if you buy it from here, then you can get it for just 10 bucks and you will also be getting one year free updates. So simply click on add to cart and download this plugin in .zip format. I have already bought this plugin. So let's go back to my WooCommerce website and here, I'm just going to the plugins and then click on add new. So I will be uploading the WooCommerce social login plugin into my WooCommerce website. Simply go to upload plugin, then choose file. So this is the plugin I have WooCommerce social login in .zip format. Let's open or you can upload it if you are on the Windows PC. Here we need to click on install now. This will take couple of seconds to get installed into your WooCommerce website. At last, we can activate this plugin. So this was the first step to buy the plugin, install onto your website. Now second step is, which is of course the last step, set up an app on Facebook so that there will be a synchronization between the Facebook developer console and your website. Now let's go to the WooCommerce and then click on settings. So this is the WooCommerce settings page and we can see the last tab social login. Let's click on it. Now here we can see the settings tab and the first tab is Facebook. Let's click on it so that we can enable the Facebook login into our WooCommerce website. Now before enabling it, this app ID and app secret is needed. By default, it took my username of this WordPress website. So let's remove it from here. We need to generate the app ID and app secret from the Facebook developers console. So before enabling the Facebook login, just empty these two boxes. And here we need to copy this redirect URI because this will be needing in order to set up the Facebook app for our WooCommerce website. So just copy it from here and then click on save changes. Now let's open a Facebook developer console website. So simply type developers.facebook.com. So this is the Facebook developers page from where we can create the login app for our WooCommerce website. So simply click on this login menu and you can log in with your existing Facebook account. So I'm just going to log in with my account. All right. Now, once you will log in into the Facebook developers account, then at the top right corner, you can see my apps. So let's click on it and then we need to click on create app. So this model box will open. Now here we need to give it a name, for example, carbon claps. You can type any name over here, but I recommend you to just type the name of your website. I'm not talking about the domain name. Now, next thing is contact email. So in this box, you need to enter your working email address. At last, we need to click on create app ID. Now, this is a security check. Just complete this capture and then click on submit. Okay. So now the developer console has been opened. You will be seeing this type of a screen. Now the first option is Facebook login. Let's click on setup. Now as we are going to integrate the Facebook login into our website, so you need to select this web, the triple W. So in this box, you need to enter your website address. You need to include the HTTPS protocol as well. So that is HTTPS colon slash slash carbonclaps.com. So the domain format would be something like this and then click on save. So on this web page, that's all you have to do. Now let's go back to the settings and here you need to click on basic. Now this will ask you a few information about your app that you're going to create. The first is display name. So this will be the carbon claps or you can put any name that's up to you. Name space. You can put a short name of your website. So I'm just going to put like 
carbon claps they should be at least 7 to 8 characters long app domain in this box you need to enter the domain name of your website so firstly i'm just going to type https colon slash slash carbonclaps.com then select from the drop down so it will appear something like this now again you need to type carbonclaps.com and then select from this drop down so these are the two formats of our app again the contact email is over here you can either update or leave it as it is now in this box privacy policy url you need to provide the link of this page so firstly you need to create this privacy policy and terms of service page on your wordpress website so let's type here something like https colon slash slash and in the same way you need to provide the terms of service url over here make sure both of these pages are ready and live on your wordpress website otherwise it will not work because when you will be submitting this app onto the facebook developer console then facebook will check dynamically if these web pages are live or not now here you need to set the icon for your social login app so let's click on edit and we can upload an icon of the size 1024 pixel width and the same would be height so in this folder i have this icon ready let's upload it okay and here you can select provide services to other businesses now in the category you can select the category of your business as carbon Glass is the online shopping site for the demonstration so i'm just selecting shopping from here that's all you have to do and at the very bottom you would be getting these type of messages just ignore all of these messages they will not affect any of the things and here just to double check in this section website site url this should be your website url it will be auto filled let's click on save changes we are almost done now at the very top you would be seeing this app id so this is the app id that we need to paste into our woocommerce website and right now the app is in development mode so firstly click on this toggle button so the app will be in the live mode now let's click on switch mode all right so the app is in live mode now this is the app id and this is the app secret so these are the two details that we need to copy and paste into our woocommerce website so firstly let's copy this app id and we can go back to the woocommerce settings page so again you need to go to the woocommerce then settings and at last social login so here we are on the facebook settings page enable it and in the app id you need to paste that app id that we have copied from the facebook developer console in the same way we need to paste the app secret so let's go back to the facebook click on the show it will ask you for the password so let's enter it okay now let's copy it from here and we can paste it in this box that's all you had to do now this is very important redirect uri you need to just copy this complete URL from here. Now go back to the Carbon Claps Facebook Developer Console. Under the Facebook login, you need to click on Settings. So this is the last step that we are going to do. And here, Valid Oath Redirect URI. Just paste it over here. Select from this drop down and then click on Save Changes. That's all you have to do and your Facebook login has been properly set up with your WooCommerce store. It's done. Now let's go back to the WooCommerce website and here we need to check this checkbox. At last click on save changes. So it's done and now WooCommerce website has the Facebook login functionality. It's time to test. So let's copy this URL from here or let's log out from the admin account. Now I'm just going to open carbonclabs.com forward slash my account. So this is the default WooCommerce login page. Let's scroll down. Here we have the login with Facebook option. I'm also going to log out from the Facebook account. Otherwise, it will auto login. Okay. Now let's click on login with Facebook. Here we go. So let me enter my password. And now you can see this is the pop up window. That's the icon. That's the website name which I have set up in the uh, Facebook developer console. Let's click on continue with Saddam. That's my name. And here you go. 
So the Facebook login has been successfully worked and that's my name which is auto fetched from the Facebook account. I have also got a confirmation email let me show you. So that is the confirmation email I have received from the WooCommerce website. So this is how you can set up the Facebook login into your WooCommerce based WordPress website. If you would have any question just drop your comments. Thank you very much.